you learn one thing from me, if you've got a raison d'etre, which means a reason for being in French, or a USP, a unique selling point, you've really got a chance then. It doesn't matter what your name is. We said we were going to be the first designer label. Well, the, 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 this was a long way of saying it. We cut it down. Sort of the first designer label for people who couldn't afford design and who had grow, grown up not knowing what design was. Well, obviously, you can't have that as a mission statement because it's too complicated. So we shortened it eventually to the world's first affordable designer label. And that's what we became. And, and by, by having that, people, the press were able to talk about what we, what we were. The public were able to understand what we were trying to do, that we were trying to break down the barriers of elitism in design. We sold Red Red in 1999, so for the last 13 years we've been doing all sorts of things, which designing big housing estates, designing festivals, working with designing cars, radios, there's nothing you know, we, that we can't design. You know, at Hemingway Design, we have a philosophy that design is about improving things that matter in life. And every angle of design can do that. We'd have a go at, um, at an aeroplane if somebody said, do you want to design the new Concorde? We'd have a go. It's very hard to make money out of the fashion industry with your own brand. But if you, but we always did consultancy at the same time. So we consulted to Dr. Martins. We carried on selling on the market, selling second-hand clothes on the market till we were till 1989, so for eight years of Red or Dead, we were still selling on the market. So when you start off, if you can, or you know, even if it, even if it means having a job in a bar in an evening, you know, you, sometimes you just got to have two or three careers, two or three jobs to make your dream come true. You learn so much by failure. We failed loads of times on so many products. The thing is not to keep going back and make it, making the same mistake. And one thing that designers do an awful lot of is that they get hooked on an idea and they don't know when to let go of it. And I see that with young designers all the time. You've got to be prolific. You've got to keep thinking of new ideas. And when something doesn't work, there may be, it may be a timing issue. You, you put it into, you store it somewhere, and there may be a time when it can come back out again. But you don't get hung up on one thing for yeah. months, years. It's the interest behind it that drives the design, I think. It's, want, it's, it's the passion and the, the love of what you're doing that makes you learn, as well as good, good colleges. But they're, you know, they, they, I'm sure you know, but you can only be a, a bit of a catalyst, can't you? It's, it's, it's up to you.